has come to our family. You remember our venerable house? Opulent and imperial, gazing proudly from its stoic perch above the moor. I lived all my years in that ancient, rumor-shadowed manor, fattened by decadence and luxury. And yet I began to tire of conventional extravagance. Singular unsettling tales suggested the mansion itself was a gateway to some fabulous and unnameable power. With relic and ritual, I bent every effort towards the excavation and recovery of those long buried secrets, exhausting what remained of our family fortune on swarthy workmen and sturdy shovels. At last, in the salt-soaked crags beneath the lowest foundations, we unearthed that damnable portal of antediluvian evil. Our every step unsettled the ancient earth. But we were in a realm of death and madness. In the end, I alone fled laughing and wailing through those blackened arcades of antiquity. Until consciousness failed me. You remember our venerable house. Opulent and imperial. It is a festering abomination. I beg you, return home, claim your birthright, and deliver our family from the ravenous clutching shadows of the darkest dungeon. Hello everyone, and welcome back to some more Let's Play Through Darkest Dungeon, with me your host Tim. It has been a while since I played Darkest Dungeon, the last time I gave it a shot was the last time I uploaded a video. I think that was about two months or so ago now, two and a half months maybe. So, welcome back. I'll give you guys another proper greeting once we get to the first city. I just want to give a, some quick prep, just in case you're new to the series, but I'm going to assume that you probably have watched all the prior episodes by now. So, really quick, so what I'll plan to do here is similar to what I've done in the past. I'm going to be silent for throughout the beginning missions at the very least. Later on as the campaign moves onward, I might explain why I'm doing certain things, so you'll probably figure it out as we play along anyway. I will be reading all the tutorial messages as they occur, just in case anything has changed. Anything that I notice that is different between now and then, I'll go ahead and that's right. I'll go ahead and talk about it in town, I suppose, or when I'm camping with my group. Uh, I'll try to take notes here of what's different. Now, about what's different, this has been a huge content push, which is why I'm playing the game again. We have three new bosses to, to fight against, and we have two new heroes that we can pick up. If there's anything else new about this patch, I haven't read about it. That said, I've been avoiding reading anything about this because I would like to discover it as we go through. Probably a few episodes from now, I'll read the official patch notes, or maybe the next time I actually do a recording session, to give you guys the lowdown on what's different, in case, unlike me, you guys just want to know about what's new, you know, pop your head and say, hey, what's, what's new here, and that's about it. So, let's see, I think I'm about ready to get started again, so let's get started. Oh, and I'm going to have to pause the game briefly when I make it back to town to check my volume levels, just to make sure everything's still okay. So let's go ahead and start. As you can see, our old Yohanathle is gone, I think of the past, so we will make a new Yohanathle. Let's go ahead and do just that. I think that's how you spell Yohanathle. Alright. Alright everyone, let's, let's start another group together, this is going to be awesome.
you will arrive along the old road. It winds with a troubling serpent-like suggestion through the corrupted countryside, leading only, I fear, to ever more tenebrous places. There is a sickness in the ancient pitted cobbles of the old road, and on its writhing path, you will face viciousness, violence, and perhaps other damnably transcendent terrors. So steal yourself, and remember there can be no bravery without madness. The old road will take you to hell, but in that gaping abyss, we will find our redemption. Okay, everyone. If you're new to this, this will be the first mission. I'm very curious to see what's different. This is a quick tutorial to give you the quick, dirty shakedown on what's going to happen to us. The pure tutorial on the actual dungeons will take place immediately after this. All right, let's get started. Map navigation. You are currently in a room. To move forth, click on another room on the map display. This will take you to the connecting hallway. Brigands have run up these lanes. Keep to the side path. The hamlet is just ahead. Hallway movement. While in a hallway, press D to move forward and move back. If you prefer the mouse, you can click ahead or behind the party to move them. Just quickly checking to see if anything else is different that I notice. No, I don't see any difference there. Dispatch this thug in brutal fashion, that all may hear of your arrival. Kill the enemy. Combat is turn-based. On your hero's turn, click a skill icon and then click on a highlighted target. You can't select a particular skill just because that hero needs to be standing in a different spot where there are no valid targets. Mouse over the skill to see the requirements. alone does not dissuade the sharpened blade. Interactive Objects, Curios. While exploring, you will often find interactive objects. Click or press W to investigate them. Take a look at this tent. Brigand's Tent. Clearly where the ambushers camp. Leave nothing unchecked. There is much to be found in forgotten places. An ambush. Send these vermin a message. The rightful owner has returned, and their kind is no longer welcome. Quickly the tide turns.
breadth from becoming unwound. Death's door. When a hero is reduced to zero hit points, they are at death's door. While in this state, they will suffer stat penalties, plus any further damage has a chance to kill them. Heal them to get off death's door. Looks like we just lost Dismas. I doubt I'll be able to do anything about this. Well, at that store, he's also suffering attack penalties. Soaks the soil, feeding the evil therein. Discretion is the better part of valor. The first of many heroes has given their all in service to you. You have the option of retreating, I don't think I do, from combat and abandoning this quest to save the others, or press onward. If this is the tutorial, retreat is unavailable. A victory. Perhaps a turning point. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. <laughs> Bandit's trapped chest. Something doesn't look quite right with this one, and we will not take it. All right, we won. This is the tutorial, and we just lost someone? <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> oh, this game just loves me. Alright, we get a person in the graveyard. Guess that, guess that gives us an excuse to visit the graveyard right away. This miss is deceased. Well, I don't know what to say about that. Let's click next. Get one person who's level one. And faded. Chance to turn any miss into a hit. Oh, that's great. Alright, that's... Dismiss died! <laughs> Holy crap! <laughs> wow! Welcome back, everybody! Welcome home, such as it is. This squalid hamlet, these corrupted lands, they are yours now, and you are bound to them. Wow, welcome back to Darkest Dungeon, the game that hates me so much. Oh, you'll be fine, Reynolds. Stop stop your yammering. Okay, so, welcome back to the Yohanathle Yoh Estate, everybody. Reynolds is now an apprentice crusader, level 1, and we have new quest goals now. I can see one right here. So, as before, we need to defeat, basically, the three different ranks, probably, of each of the bosses. But we have three new bosses now we get, we get to fight. What do they look like? So in addition to the Wizened Hag, the Hag, the Necromancer, and the Swine Prince, we now have to kill the Brigand Eight Pounder. I guess that's an ogre. The Incolate Flesh. Oh, that sounds like a pudding. And the Sonorous Prophet. I have no idea. Probably an enemy spellcaster or a cleric. Twelve pounder, sixteen pounder. That'd be great if it's like a cheeseburger. Our goals. Uh, we won't be doing the. Roster goals, if they occur, they'll happen by accident. I don't feel like just playing the game just to grind levels at the very end. My objective is to do all of these quest goals. Once we've done all the quest goals, I will consider this current playthrough completed until the next large content push occurs. Keep in mind as well, everyone, that I will need to be doing any bug reporting and whatnot at the same time. So if you notice bug, oh yeah, if you notice bugs, it's probably because early access. I backed this game on Kickstarter. I believe I backed it at 65 bucks. So just as a heads up as you're watching this video, that I do have a, you know, I have financial ties to this game. I really like the idea of it a year and a year and some months ago now. I'm very glad I backed it. I've been very happy with it, but that might be coloring my impression. It's not. I really like the game, but well, I don't think it is, but there you go. All right, so I'm going to go check on my recording levels after I read this tutorial bit here. Get help where you may. On any screen in the game, press and hold H to see contextual help for controls in that mode. 
try it while in town, exploring, fighting, camping, and more. I'm curious to see what happens to us. Like, we only get two people, don't we? When we start each mission. So unless the game's gonna be like, oh crap, you lost someone in the tutorial. I don't know what's gonna... I might have to do the next quest with three people. Hey, and we have a new location. Ancestors Memoirs. Okay, but we'll be back to talk about this. I need to check my volume levels and see how this is coming out. So I'll be right back, everyone. Okay, everyone. Welcome back. It sounds like my voice is working well with the volume of the game. Alright, so let's go ahead and take a peek at what we have here. So we're... Let's just click on these exclamation marks. These are the places that are currently available to me. We'll start with the graveyard. Most will end up here, covered in the poisoned earth, awaiting merciful oblivion. Well, dismiss the dismal. <laughs> right here has been buried forever. All right. Well, I have a reason to visit this place to remind me that situations beyond my control will occur during each of these quests. Wow, I'm going to lose everyone this time around, aren't I? All right, let's take a look at the stagecoach next. Women and men, soldiers and outlaws, fools and corpses. All will find their way to us now that the road is clear. You'll need to recruit these two heroes to fill out a party of four. Lies! Drag and drop them into your roster. While you're here, spend some of your starting resources on upgrading the stagecoach network. This will increase the number of heroes available here in the future. To upgrade, click the plus symbol on the left, then click on the upgrade. Oh, they give me a new person! <laughs> oh no! It's not a highwayman! Has the first quest been balanced without a, without a highwayman present? I don't know. I don't know. Well, let's take a look at who we have now. Oh, and this gives me an excuse to take a look at if anything's different here. So let's, let's stare at the screen for a little bit. So... Class bonuses. I still don't see anything down here yet. Maybe we get them when we level up. Maybe we don't. I don't notice anything special about these. I don't know if they're in any bit better or whatnot than what's before. Noxious Blast, Incision, Vapors, and Disorienting Blast. Oh, wow! Okay, so this version is a frontline fighter. She wants to be on the front three spots. Torleville is her name. Oh, this is nice. This is a little different. The background here looks like it's kind of yellowish on this side, reddish on this side. What do we have? Obsessed with food and stress eater. Wow! This makes sense. Okay, so she really likes eating a lot. Fast healer. Slayer of beast. Oh, that might come in handy where we're going next. Okay, so first off, we're going to rename her. Well, we're going to rename everybody. Let's get some of our names we're kind of might be familiar with. So let's go with uh let's go with Kim Legbloom. Oh, that T's gotta go. T's got to go. There we go. Seeker Plague Doctor, Seeker's her level. What do you have here? Reduce stress by ten. One companion has a 75% chance to heal half his hit points. And some resistances to everything. Okay, welcome aboard, Kim. What better laboratory than the blood-soaked battlefield? She looks a little different than I remember her looking. She looks brighter. He looks the same. I guess they've done a... Oh! Hey, everyone, look at this! You can switch... Oh, okay, yeah, this is what I was used to. You can switch the color of their outfits, if you wish. She doesn't have a healing ability, so let's... Let's give her this outfit. Yeah, because she hasn't... Because she hasn't... She has Noxus Blast or whatnot. She'll be the front line, so red for front line for her. Actually, what do your colors look like? Nice, I like all these. We're going to stick with your... Oh, your normal outfit. Actually, we're going to rename you. So, we're going to go with my standard Trimus Dowerdon. Next. Oh, pff, great, Ballard, great. Minus 15 stress resist against Unholy, minus an accuracy versus Unholy. But she's tough, so plus 10 max hit points. That's pretty good for her. Thankfully, she has... Oh, wow. So she is really bad at this. 
She either wants to be in the back two rows or the front two rows. She's gonna stay in the back the whole time. She's basically gonna be our heel bot. A sister of battle, pious and unrelenting. Welcome aboard. Let's come up with a name for you. I guess we'll stick with um, Corinthia Sai. Pray, bless, and pep talk. Nice. All right, so she's used to giving speeches and whatnot about killing undead because she's terrified of doing so, which is a, a shame because we're, the first place we're going to will have undead in it. Yeah, that minus 10 accuracy against undead is crippling for her. There is no way I want her on the front line in the place we're going. And next, we have... Oh, God, you're kidding me. The yip. So that's not so bad on a... Grave Robber. Lurker won't be helping us, and she's probably going to be thrown into the trash after this level. <laughs> Minus 20% resist against Unholy. Very bad for where we're going again. Let's see. She looks like... Elfer, Gallus Humor. Those are just okay. Pick to the face is nice. I like Shadow Fade. Thrown Dagger. She doesn't have Lunge, though. Yeah, so she wants to be in the third position, or second position. To those with a keen eye, gold gleams like a dagger's point. Uh, I'm probably not going to be keeping her. I really don't think I'm going to be keeping her. Well, we'll see how well this goes. Bloody Mary, welcome back. So... The order here doesn't really matter either. Oh, what's this? Sort by level, sort by stress, class, or activity. Oh, nice. Okay. I like that. You can make it, you can organize your groups a little bit better. Let's see, what do I want her to be? She's kind of a ranged person, really. Oh, I like the color schemes that she has. We'll stick with her classic. I don't remember which was, which was hers. She's going to go with this green outfit, though, since she's basically just a pure healer. I kind of like that look for her. All right, and yes, we will definitely level the stagecoach, because I might be losing everyone in the next quest. So I need the number of heroes increased. Word is traveling. Ambition is stirring in distant cities. We can use this. I, at the very least, want four heroes coming with me at the beginning of each quest. Because I can just drop them all if it goes badly, abandon the quest, and keep the loot. I don't care. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, I will care about these people eventually, but at this point, state in the game, I do not care about them. Alright, let's see what this is. Ancestors Memoirs. Oh, nice! This must be the speeches that he gives, I suppose. I was hoping they would introduce more videos. Oh, hey, nice! We can take a peek at what the bosses look like. Here's our, here's our Globe Swine King. The Prophet looks like he's probably in the ruins. Ooh, he looks really creepy, actually. There's a Necromancer, the Hag. Oof! I would imagine this is just a puddle of different types of things stuck together. This is a gun. This is the barrel of a gun. There. Everything's looking to the right. Is this a cannon? No. Artillery piece? I bet you that's a cannon. All right. Well, I guess we'll I guess we'll um we'll see what happens there. <laughs> All right, we don't have any trinkets. I'm not going to go everything else again. I've, I've assumed that you've seen this all before. So let's go ahead and embark on our first quest together. A mecca of madness and morbidity. Your work begins. So neither the cove nor the darkest dungeon will be added or will be expected to be reached in this playthrough. Looks like we have the Warrens and the Weld that will be available to us again. Okay, so 
let's get started. What's our rewards for this? 3,000 gold, two busts, two crests, and Gambler's Charm. Damage protection if your hit points fall below 25%, but minus 10% death resistance. I can't think of who I would want that on. That would probably go into the trash. Well, we'll see what happens. It might go on Trimus, since he can use protection to help keep himself alive. Alright, so, holy abit abominations turning the light against itself. Meet them in battle and learn how they fight. When I, by the way, when I play this area, and in all areas, I'll be pausing a little bit upon the entrance of each room just to take in what the room looks like. It occurred to me that very rarely am I ever looking at the scenery. I'm kind of just immediately traveling through the dungeon. I like to see what the artwork looks like what the artwork looks like a little bit. All right, so, as before, uh, I guess the only choice we have at the moment is this choice. And we're going for the ruins. The cost of preparedness, measured now in gold, later in blood. You want to take different supplies depending upon what region you are going to, how long the quest is, and your own preferences. But always bring some food and torches. This is your first short quest. Try bringing at least eight food and four torches. I'm gonna want four more food. I'll take six torches, that will hopefully be enough. One shovel. So, okay, should I explain what all these are? Maybe I should. So, food is used to heal yourself one hit point, and there are what I call food traps in the dungeon at random times. I don't know if they changed it. You will just hit a event that says, hey, your group is hungry. Everyone's got to eat however many pieces of food they need to eat, or you're going to everyone's going to suffer, you'll suffer damage and stress. The food amount depends upon if certain things are affecting them. For example, our Kim Plague Bloom, if her stress ever reaches above 50, then she's going to need twice as much food whenever she's hungry, whenever she eats, in order to have the effect affect her. So, 12 food seems to be a good amount for this dungeon. It will also let me consider using a little bit of food in order to heal someone a tiny bit of hit points if I need it. We probably won't need all six torches. Eight would be a, a better group, a better amount to bring, but we should be okay with six. I actually don't mind fighting in the dark with this first group, because I can just throw people away if I really need to. Actually, with that in mind, we'll sell one back. One shovel should be good, in case we meet a pile of debris in the way. Normally you'd have to dig through it, in which case you suffer light damage, you suffer hit point damage, and everyone takes some stress. I won't take the anti-venom, there aren't that many things that can poison me in the level 1 dungeon, unless there's new creatures. Bandages could be useful, I'll take one bandage, just in case we meet too many cultists and the, poison, uh, the bleed effects stack. I'm gonna take two medicinal herbs, since we can encounter things that this will counteract. Two keys, just in case I get some chests, and one holy water. And this looks good to me. Let's go ahead and start our quest up. Once the mission begins, I won't be doing any talking. I won't be muting the mic this time around. I found that annoying while watching my videos of how I would both mute and unmute it because it makes a loud sound when I do so. So, all right, once we get started, I won't be doing any talking till we're done. And this will give me a good chance to view the combat and see what's different about it. All right, here we go. The fiends must be driven back. And what better place to begin than the seat of our noble line?
confidence surges as the enemy crumbles. Advantage. Give them no quarter. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. Nations spring to life with a singular purpose. Thank you. 
This expedition at least promises success. These nightmarish creatures can be felled. They can be beaten. Even the cold stone seems bent on preventing passage. In Radiance, may we find victory. Be gone, fiend! victory, but a victory nonetheless. Scouted traps will be visible on the ground as you approach them. Select a hero and then click on the trap to attempt to disarm it. Some heroes are better at others disarming. Light, the promise of safety.
But your terrible assault cannot be left unanswered. As victories mount, so too will resistance. Turn to rest. Devils remanded to their abyss. Hey everyone, we made it. Alright, let's get back to town and then we'll talk about what... Well, how that mission went, and what I learned that was different than the last time I had done these missions. That wasn't so bad overall, anyway. Let's see what we got. I can still see their angry faces as they stormed the manor. But I was dead before they found me. And the letter was on its way. I like the new background colors they have right here on all the different event columns. Looks like town, town notices are purple, whereas hero notices are y greenish yellow in color. It looks like rotting flesh color, is <laughs> what it looks like to me. Okay, everyone, that was fun. Now I'm going to compress this down. We won't do another one th in this instance, because I'd like to get this all compressed. And I don't think I'll be able to upload it tonight, so this will probably go up on Friday. Uh, probably before I go to work. We will see. Anyway, so let's see what was different. So, I like the new sound effects that they have in the game. The sound effect for the clicking on a room was really neat. I, I like that sound effect. I also like the... Uh, the scouting sound, how it made that whooshing sound, that that was that was a really nice touch, rather than just zooming in silently and just doing the little clicks as you as you went forward. I like the... Uh, it looks like they added a little slash symbol by everyone's name to indicate if they've gone already or not. 
Which is neat. I, I like that. That's, that's a really nice touch. I didn't see a whole lot of anything new. At the very end there, there was a new clickable, a new curio, but I wasn't going to add additional stress to my group because I'm thinking of retaking Bloody Mary and Kim Plague Bloom with me unless I get phenomenal people in the stagecoach because I'm probably just going to throw Bloody Mary away because she is really bad at this. She less damage, less accuracy, and less stress resist all in the ruins. No, she's... Actually, I probably will ditch her right away. She's she's not she's not working out. Kim is also pretty bad, honestly. I probably should ditch her too, but she has such low stress, so we'll see what we get. Uh, let's click on the abbey at the tavern. The cobwebs have been dusted. The pews set straight. The abbey calls to the faithful. Heroes relieve stress by taking part in activities at the tavern and the abbey. Each activity has different side effects. Experiment to find the best activity for each hero, depending upon on their quirks. Committing a hero to an activity locks them in that activity until the next week. You'll have to take a different hero with you on your next quest. It looks like we don't have a reason not to do this, so... Trimus only wants to pray. So as usual, then, we'll just increase the transcript. A man in a robe, claiming communion with the divine. Madness. We'll be back for that. I want to see what the other one takes. Let's go to the tavern. Fresh kegs, cards, and curtained rooms promise solace to the weary and broken alike. caretakers here today which means that we can't so each week the caretaker pops in one of these in a random location and it, you will be unable to assign people there because he's taking that spot so this is portraits and these now, I remember correctly portraits are hard to get I remember really struggling with my group who only had like rank one abilities and they were all level three so I'm not going to do any of these upgrades until I absolutely have at least 10 portraits to spend them on the guild hall when we get that unlocked later. Deeds, I remember, are easier to get in the well, or wield. Alright, let's look, look at our, let's see what we got this week. Hey, we got men in arms, two jesters and an occultist. Okay, so this is, I like this group. Let's see what we got. So, anyone, ah! Uh, Okay, not taking you. You're you're just not coming along. What do we got? Shocker, stun resistance, and slow draw, minus four speed. He's underwhelming. Raven knots. You are terrible. And Malif. You're the only one who has a who's okay. But your skills are questionable. You want to... Uh, <laughs> oh my god, these... All these characters are terrible. Ah, uh, this is... Syphilis, come on. Syphilis is the... Oh, and a useless trait. Backtracker. Garbage. Absolute garbage. What does he have for skills? Uh, Hands in the Abyss is just okay. I'd rather have either of these abilities... Really? Minus 5 accuracy on him. So we really just be taking him for weird reconstruction. Wow, this is so terrible. I'm tempted just to take them all. Now, Raven Knot's a new character. We've not seen the Men in Arms yet. But it looks like he's all melee skills? No, this is ranged. Melee and bolster, which is good for, looks like, any one of my friends. That is so... It's not terrible, but that's not good. We will we'll want that cured. A weapons practice is nice, though. Okay, so uh, what are we going to what are we going to do? What are we going to do? Well, there's no reason not to take him, I suppose. So, who on? What do you got? Get the healer is useless to you because you don't have wound care yet. Slow draw is just so-so. That's not that bad. Shocker's not too bad either. I just, I really don't like slow draw. You're going last 
in combat, basically, the first round. But why not? We'll take you anyway. He will be laughing still at the end. So... What's a good name for him? You know what? I'll, I'll think of names off-screen, because there's no reason if you just sit sit here and watch me just think of what their name's going to be. Matt Colt, you are just terrible, but we're going to take you anyway, because I need weird, weird, weird reconstruction. And I don't have a healer, since Corinthia is going to need to spend some time resting. To fight the Abyss, one must know it. Raven not. I guess, yeah, we'll guess we'll take everyone. The raw strength of youth may be spent, but his eyes hold the secrets of a hundred campaigns. He will be laughing still at the end. Now, I think my busts are used in the sanitarium. I don't know when that gets unlocked. But I'm fine with my stagecoach the way it is at the moment. Oh, I guess I have to be anyway, I'm sorry. I thought Bust would use to upgrade stuff here. We don't have any more deeds, so we can't upgrade it. We're almost at our max for our what our current guild here. Or, guild, is that right? Yeah, I guess so. Or roster. Our current roster size is 8 of 9. We only have enough space for one more person. In particular, I'll ditch this guy the moment I get a chance to. Buhan here. I'm not a fan of him. I'd rather have someone who has a, a more useful skill. His abilities, though, aren't so bad. I do like... I like Solo. Inspiring Tomb was not very good, if I remember correctly. So he wants to be position 1 or 2. I guess we could take him in the front. Maybe not where you want to be. Second or third position. Oh, that's neat. I like Bello. All right, everyone. Well, we're gonna stop here. I'm sorry. All right. When I come back, we'll help. We'll name these characters, and we'll be ready for the next mission. I will see you guys then. Thank you for watching.